I feel like we're trapped. No, we are definitely no, trapped. Now you're my goat. Bye. <laughs> this is real awkward. So Earl Wilcox gets the news via the, the newspaper that bandits are riding across the county. Of course, they all been dealt with now, but they was all wearing red. So what do you think Mr. Earl does? <laughs> what? <laughs> His entire outfit. So when Mr. What? Earl gets shot and his pretty haired otter and his, and his horse he died, it's on him. <laughs> no, you never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what game? That's the message I'm trying to send out. Oh, yeah, I just got booted. Womp womp. Like I said, I'm not far outside of town. I found you. Maybe I got disconnected. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, yeah, what's up with your internet, bro? What a doo-doo garbage internet got me disconnected, man. Huh. Server a couple times. You should. You should. I'm just gonna say, Rowdy, you don't know, but I hate you so much. <laughs> what? Like a lot. And it will come <laughs> back to you. 100%. <laughs> I don't, know what I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, T-Bunny is like watching a, a movie in the living room. If I had to guess, they're probably watching Spice World. Are you in yet? I don't know if it's going to look bad. So, like, I just thought we could match today and we could both wear red. I didn't think, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with us both wearing red today? <laughs> I'll play it off, man. <laughs> Just act like we have no clue what's going on. Well, I didn't get the newspaper today. What are you talking about? You know, talk to me in game. Let's make sure everything sounds good. Yeah. Oh, howdy, Rowdy. Now, Dad Gummit Earl, I can see my clothes. I can tell that my pants is a red. Did you do something to me? I don't have the foggiest idea what you is talking about, Rowdy. Now, what had happened was, uh, you got to drink and you were hitting the sauce a little hard, as you like to do, and you found my, my, <laughs> my red paintbrush, and then, uh, well, the rest is history, sir. You're telling me I painted myself while I was asleeping? Yes, sir, it's called sleep painting. Affects about, uh, 0.1% of the population. Now listen here, man, I am the learned doctor, all right? You were just a simple blacksmith, and not a very good one at that. I had to get my sickle from somebody else. So when I need learning about uh, medical conditions, then I'll ask you. You hold on one second. What? <laughs> that didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> you know what, Earl? Let's just leave this place. <laughs> Did you just say you got a popsicle? Is that where they put the ice on the, on the, on the twig and they flavor it uh, and, and then you can lick it? <laughs> Who's a selling them? I need me one right now. Earl, I ain't a talking about no ice on a no stick. All right. You was a talking about a sleep painting and I wasn't a sleep painting nothing. All right. I know I have, I have full control over my actions. Uh, Miss Eli who's this? I'm I feel like this is Billy around. Blackwood's place. No, there was a guy running around over here. I see that. He's in all black, and I feel like he's hiding behind the rocks. All right, let's go. Let's go annoy him. Howdy, oh, he's fella. running. He sees red. He sees red. <laughs> maybe we just we got hide behind yeah, the tree. No, maybe we just uh, hide behind the tree, bro. Get behind the tree. Those are the extra okay. large ones. <laughs> yeah, I'd have, 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 yeah, have to take a look. I don't know yet. Like I said, I haven't picked my place out yet, so it'll be a little while yet. 
<laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> I was a lot of list of all that what are the odds? And anything that you guys want to see. <laughs> Feel free to stop on by and I can, uh, Poor Miss Alana. You, 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 Even you, when we're not in the bugger, we're bugging model? her. Or can you just easily make one? And you can, you know, oh, just be quiet, just be quiet. Different Sir, what are you doing out behind a tree? Like <laughs> they're being silly, Rattle. just ignore them. Meow! Rattle. Meow! Rattle, I think they're wrong to us. <laughs> well, howdy, Mr. Wilcox. How are you doing today? Oh, this is awkward. Oh, this he is awkward. Y'all live here? Hello. Ratty, you are too loud. Chill out. Sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I, I, I see these two gentlemen got in this little stealthier colors than they had last time. Uh, hey boys, yeah. by the way, yeah. there's, a, there's a countywide manhunt for bandits dressed in red, so you may want to re reconsider your wardrobe choice. You today. don't? Do what? That's a little bit awkward. Yeah, See, we right. hadn't read the newspaper till just recently, and uh, we had already got our, our clothes all shindigged up. So uh, we just gonna we just gonna have to tread lightly, I guess. Anybody here hungry? I got some pancakes. <laughs> Dang it! Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? pancakes? Who said Everybody pancakes? watch out! Everybody get down! Get behind Everybody the bushes! Say? Somebody said pancakes. Everybody okay? Damn. <laughs> I'm You're... very confused right now. Well, you see, pancakes, I told pancakes. You not to say you it. Follow. Also, I just crashed again, man. I told you oh, not oh, to say right. it. Oh, no. Got, looks so like someone got a little excited. Uh, code word for their Dad gum it, Rowdy. He suffers from the narcolepsy sometimes. It's quite oh, embarrassing. Oh, my. Did he write pass out? Pancake is a safe word. If somebody says pancakes, that means there is a trouble. Earl. Hi, Miss Alana. How you doing today, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I'm doing perfectly all right. Why in the world are you and your brother dressed all in red with red-clad bandits running around? I thought it would be funny. I asked a similar question. Well, it ain't funny, to boy. It's going to get a gun that. pulled on you, you and get you shot. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, but <laughs> I like the color red a whole lot. And just because I can't the bad like guys going on. wear the color red doesn't mean that I can't wear the color red, right? I mean, you can wear the color red, now. but I was just up in White Willow about an hour ago, and just, just one of them red bandits just rode on past, and all right, all right. damn near half the town just went out with their gun out and started shooting. My word. There's some evil people out there, but my whole message is, you know, you don't judge uh, a book by the cover. You know what I mean? So, I feel like people well, ought to just... You not judge the book by the so cover my, and be safe while you're Does my mic it. volume need to go? <sighs> <laughs> what happened now, fellas? What the hell is that? Somebody said pancakes, and I got all excited. Next thing I know, I'm I'm waking up in here. <laughs> yeah, I think you uh, overexerted yourself and passed out. I should have yeah. all right. Y'all shouldn't have said the word. Why did y'all say the pancakes? <laughs> Them flatjacks were Chris. So thank you for that follow. Chris, thank you. You ain't gotta call them flapjacks. You know pancakes is a secret word. Pancakes? Who said pancakes? <laughs> I said pumpernickel. <laughs> ain't nobody said I'm pancakes. feeling much better. Thank you for taking care of me. I noticed my pants is still on, so I appreciate you keeping me away from my brother. Yeah, that doesn't sound good for either of us, Rowdy. Right <laughs> no, Do that, I have your that, webcam back, by the way? That implicates both y'all. <clears throat> Put the moves on. That's what yeah, you, yeah, you wow. Put these moves on. Oh, bro, you leave Terry alone. Put these moves on, bro. Put oh, these moves on. Was that that town up that... Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Yeah, that okay. abandoned looking town. Like that's Valhalla Cliffs. Yeah, that's the one we no. rode through, and I said, it's real quiet here. I'm gonna be honest, ma'am. I didn't, I didn't hear a word. Who just flushed the commode? Y'all y'all heard the commode? Yeah, there's an outhouse the back, back there off inside. Off the rocks here. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest, Miss Carrie. I didn't understand a word you said. Now, I know that they said as I get older, my memory might be going bad, uh, and I didn't believe it till just now because I done forgot every woman but you. <laughs> <laughs> Seems smooth, well, man. <laughs> you're real smooth, Mister Rowdy. <laughs> well, th thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You know, I just 
You're a pretty lady. That's all I'm trying to say. Audio level jumps. Well, since she might be so busy flirting that, you know, she might have trouble controlling her. Who's a flirting now? Did y'all say flirting? Yes, I said flirting. Who's, Who's a flirt? flirt? Who's a flirt? Boys, clean the wax out of your ears. <laughs> I was lost. No, man, mouth, I will not. I, I read somewhere that um, earwax is for survival and that it keeps better. parasites from getting it in your in your ear. And it's only good survival to have earwax in your ear. So I will not clean out the earwax from my ear because it's there to protect me. It's true. As a learned doctor, I, I recommend you all keep your earwaxes right where it is. All right. Don't stick in nothing bigger than I'm your elbow in there. I'm selling I'm selling my <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, please tell these two fine gentlemen what you do as a profession. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. I'm a doctor. but I'm, I'm a doctor by trade, but a veterinarian by interest. Oh, my lord. So you don't eat meat at all? <laughs> No, not a vegetarian, sir. A veterinarian. I ain't a never a met no one that didn't eat no meat. <laughs> no, I'm Ratty. Ratty. An animal I doctor. I treat animals. Well, I reckon you fit right in if you don't eat no myself. meat. You treat all the horses and the cows and y'all bond on your, on your non-meat eating. <laughs> oh, yeah, goodness. I treat them all with kindness and respect. Yes, ma'am. Are we getting well, there, guys? Real, I'm gonna be honest with you. What happened? You treat everybody with I don't remember respect. which way is louder and which way is quieter but, on my mic. That's uh, 100% the truth. Unfortunately, for a lot of my patients, I do eat meat. I like I like a good uh, steak and a good burger, lamb chops. So you are uh, um, you are um, uh, cantankerous then. You do eat meat. Carnivorous, honey. Not cantankerous. Oh, carnivorous. Carnivorous. Not car yeah, that, what what she said. I went to a carnivorous one time and they had <laughs> little people that was doing like tricks on a trapeze. Rowdy, that's I've a carnival. I've seen them carnivoruses. Yes, sir, I've seen them carnivoruses. That's a carnival. Sounds not fine. a carnivorous. Okay, let me know, Claus. Carnivorous nice means you eat meat. Oh, oh meat that's right. Hear them Spanish? That's right. I do know the Spanish. Oh, goodness. Um, el, el gato. The red suit and the pink bird. In my, in my pant and lawless. El libertaria. Um, in, in el guacamole. España. España. That means, excuse me, ma'am. It seems you have an illness that I can probably help you cure. That'll be five dollars. I think you said the cat in your pants <laughs> set loose the Spanish guacamole. <laughs> That's what I thought he said, but I wasn't sure. Practically now, the same thing. Now that Practically the same thing. I, I was told with confidence from a man down in Mexico town that um, that that's what that means. Brad, you okay? I believe so. Did, did I miss something? What am I missing? Everyone was just talking about you for like three minutes. You must have blacked out. We were all talking about how stupid you looked. But you're back now, so it's okay. Especially Miss Alana. Miss Alana was like, that guy is so stupid. I hate him so much. Sometimes I wish he'd walk off a cliff, but then you <laughs> came back too. So, welcome back. I feel like he's about to get a punch. <laughs> yep, it happened. It happened. My damn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me check you. Let me check you, Pearl. Take your shirt off. Let's make sure you ain't a bleeding. <laughs> Finding your leash. Sorry, check. Carrie. <laughs> oh, no. What worries? Rowdy, Miss Lana hit me. You actually got bit by the horse. You might get horse rabies now. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Miss Lana. We're going to have to treat you for these horse rabies. I was telling Miss Alana earlier that I, I've, I've had experience treating equine rabies up in the city before. Oh, what are we thinking, man? We got us a vegetarian here. Come take a look at him. He got bit by the horse. Up a little bit, but am I, I, am I okay? Am I, 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 am I? Am I okay, okay on my bulging abs? Are my bulging abs okay? 
I think all of you is fine. I don't think is my right pectoral is my right <laughs> pectoral muscle the one that's sticking out real real bulge like there? Is it okay? Pretty sure it's fine, but if you ask me that one more time, I might have to punch it. Miss Riley, did you get a chance to paint um the picture with the uh, rhinoceros getting a noogie and um me fighting a bear? I have sketches of them. I don't know why my game keeps acting up. Well, I'm, I'm glad that try I'm trying to start a fight. I'm not trying to start a fight. I apologize. Oh you my must god. Be really scared. Unless, unless mm -hmm. hold, hold the horses. What is this? No, they look fine. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I do believe gorgeous. that's you giving a rhinoceros that. a noogie. That is the most uh, amazingest thing that uh, I've ever seen well, in the entire history uh, of my life. But I think that, now that I'm actually looking at it, that bigger one would be better. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Bruh. Bruh. What's up? What's up? Let's make friends is here. No. Yes, she is. A fanboy. Is anyone a doctor? We do. Rowdy. Well, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm a learned doctor. What's going on with you? I need a bandage on my hand. You need a, a, a bandage, you say? Uh, well, let me tell you what. I'm the best the bandager. That you ever did yeah, see. You like it. So I'll tell you what, okay. if you follow me over to my horse, I will bandage you right on up. Not sure. Okay, where's your horse? Can save the my horse is a this way. Okay. You can, um, Quick, I'm gonna die. Oh, my don't die on me now. Out of me uh, from my uh, hand. Earl, 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 sing this you know, sing this little child a song. Keep her keep her hanging on, man. What's your name, little lady? I'm Phoebe the Dead. And you're, no, you're gonna be you're okay. Gonna what, what, you wanna hear a song? It's alright. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make it up as we go, go along. Go the house and make make it along, and Earl, because these bandages don't take no short time. Okay, okay. now everybody feel free to join in. <laughs> well, my name's Earl, and I like to run around with my otter on my shoulder. And today we're out and we met a little lady named Phoebe and my brother's making her bandages and she's gonna be okay because she's gonna be okay because Rowdy Wilcox is the best doctor in the whole wide world and we're not gonna let Same that be okay. happen Same to us. Okay. Excuse me? Don't interrupt my song, Rowdy. What in the hell is wrong with you, boy? Just I don't want yeah. you to spread lies. There's a chance you could just say like maybe. She like, might don't, die, don't but I don't think that bit. she's gonna die because we're gonna take care of Miss Phoebe and we're gonna get her bandaged up. Everybody sing, bandaged up, bandaged up. We're bandaged gonna get her up. bandaged up, up. Bandaged, bandaged up, bandaged up. We're gonna get the Phoebe bandaged up. Bandaged, bandaged up. Does that make? Did that work? Do you feel better? Well, you there you go. On me. Of course what kind of I do. Doctor um, are you? What of course I. Do. I'm a good doctor. One second, I'm a doctor. Uh, you know what? Hang tight. One second. Okay. I don't know how to put bandage on. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, little Phoebe. <laughs> Rowdy's gonna take good care of you. Yeah, but I now, said, can you sing more? Cause you're an angel. You want me to sing some more? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, my name's Earl, now, and I'm hanging out. Course, Everybody say, hanging out, hanging out, hanging out, hanging out, riding horses to to all over on somebody, the place. Yeah, we're well, going to have a us a good time singing and laughing all over the world. And today, um, we're going to make bandages for Phoebe. For me. For you. Yeah, we're gonna put them on. Oh, you y'all got good voices too. Well, Phoebe, how about you sing me a song? Everything will be fine. You'll be just fine. Hang on tight. I'll be right back. That didn't rhyme, but I'm gonna be back. Miss Phoebe, do you like He's to sing songs? He's not as good as you. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I like to sing. Could you maybe sing a song? Sing a song for us. 
Okay. I'm going to die, but not before <laughs> all right, all right. we sing I, I some I songs this is what you want to use to put about on you that, that and being right a there. doctor. And when you just, thank you very dead, much. You just sing a little cheery up song. Funeral, Appreciate. It. And you say good things about me because that is what you do. And, My goodness. And maybe people will love me when I'm dead. <laughs> I think people already love you there, Phoebe. That did you guys beautiful. hear an angel over here? I did hear an angel. I think it was little Phoebe here. That was your grandpa. <laughs> All right, My Phoebe, grandpa. Put your arm out. Yeah, you stick, stick your arm out here. Let me bandage you up now. Now, as... As a good doctor, uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask which hand it was. Um, um, the one that is, if you put both of your arms out, I would, it would be the one that I can, um, where I can. You know what? We're arms. just going to bandage both of them. How about that? Let's Sounds just like bandage both idea. of them. Okay. Where did you get, did you say where did he get his bird? Is that what you said, Miss Miss yeah. Phoebe? I don't think he's listening very well. He likes to drink a uh -oh. lot. Sometimes he just loses his mind. I'm, and, uh, I'm deep into work. Uh, this is no yeah. easy work. It's not like being a blacksmith. You're a drinking doctor. He is a drinking doctor. Yes, ma'am, that is I'm correct. pretty sure that there's only one kind of doctor and almost all of them drink. Really? You think my mom drinks? <laughs> Probably. She might do it when you're not watching, though. Maybe. Now, but a different subject. Uh, how are your hands feeling? Oh, um. So there's kind of a. Well, I don't think I'm dying. That's always the number one rule of a doctor, and make sure that you ain't dying. So that's uh, that's yeah. one check mark we can check off here. I tried to save my mom's horse from a snake, and that's how it happened. Oh no, a did a snake, a snake bite you? Yeah. What else would bite me? Maybe the horse? I got bit by a horse. My brother Earl got bit by a horse on the rear right end just really? earlier, so right on the it happened. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was terrible. Are you, did he bandage your butt? <laughs> <laughs> they 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 had a peak, but everyone said I was okay and not to worry about it. So I just assume I can't really Are see sure? back there. Maybe I mean, you should bandage his butt. Probably a good call. Well, yeah, this is a little bit. Now, Earl, put your pants on around the young Rowdy lady. Damn. Thank you. You know Rowdy what? Damn. Let me. <laughs> Miss Alana, will you have a talk with this man about some respect? One second. You stay over there, Phoebe. I'm, I'm, I'll bandage okay. him up. How's your butt feel, Earl? It feels a mite better. I do appreciate that, Rowdy. Okay. I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, his butt is yeah. doing much better, so you don't worry your pretty little head no more. They got That's whiskey, you know women, that it's you have, um, and smoke. You have to boo -boo it's that your mom can kiss and go to Boogie. Steinberg, thank you so much for that. Thanks for the last guy. That, shout out to my that. daughter, Blake, please. Well, shout out to Blake. Shout out to oh, Blake. Right. You, you kiss Appreciate it now, man. That's better. true. That is true. Blake. It also oh. works for brothers, too. Rowdy. Yep, that's true. They say that for um, you to be able to really fix me, you got to kiss the boo-boo. That's what Phoebe said. <laughs> um, uh, now, I don't remember learning that in the doc. Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, take it. Come on now. Oh, it, I don't remember book, learning baby. that in the doctor in I school. Are you sure this is how it goes, Miss Phoebe? The Better be puckering out. That's what I heard. Well, Ted's that's an so actual awesome. doctor. Did He's you... saying that it's true, so. <laughs> call, call I mean... Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follows. All right. Bye. Well, here we go. Could you all maybe just turn your heads or something? Thank you. Yep. So follow Miss Phoebe's role here. Thank you. Thank you for that follow. All right. Here we go. Oh my nope, goodness. Nope, only nope, once. That, only that once. Does it feel pack. better? I didn't feel that, that, that one. That wasn't no Thank kiss. You. I didn't feel Thank that you one. Thank you for all these followers. You're going to have to do it again. Give him a kiss. Oh, God damn, little one. Well, you're not, you don't want to make I'm not going to make out with his butt. One little kiss is all it takes for a doctrine.
I don't feel no better, Rowdy. Well, get back there. That Pucker up. <laughs> Your butt is a fine, between sir. A little kiss and a kiss, a healing kiss. I There's a big difference. You don't want to make out with it, but you've got to be a little bit longer than you know, just a little. Guys, look. thank you for all the follows. Oh that my god! Get back in there. Appreciate that so much. Now, does it, Miss Phoebe? Does it work better when it's like you get several people's kisses, or is it, is it just happen to be mine? Yeah, if you could get your mom and your dad to kiss your boo boo, it would work. And maybe him too. Well, I reckon. Yeah, I was thinking I'm not, that. I'm not very good at it. I'm not related in any form. Those lips look medicinal that, if I ever sink them. Well, I can assure you that they ain't, ain't anything like that. Now, my my pa here, he's a doctor. He's definitely uh he's No, no, now don't 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 put yourself down. Come here, stand straight on. I, one second. I ain't no doctor. Nope. Sorry, I ain't no nope, doctor. One one second. He moved. I ain't right. never seen no lips that medicinal in my life. Earl go on. Go on. Get your boo-boo healed. All right, Come here. close. Turn the name and <laughs> Rowdy marry your horse. This right here is a picture that Miss Riley is making me. Of me giving a rhinoceros a nuggie. <laughs> this is pretty much exactly how it went down. I gave a rhinoceros a nuggie. Of course, I was in pink then, so I'm gonna be in pink in the picture. What's a rhinoceros? It's um, it's like a, it's like a horse, but it's uh, but it's different than a horse. You might need to ask Miss. Have you ever heard of Standing a unicorn? Standing water. Yes, Behind you. I do believe I have. You Please know, tell me I didn't hear what I think I just heard. Unicorn is, is, you I know, it's from Scotland. I is now married to the otter or... I, I there, did not know it that. It has the Some tail fashion. of a lion. Yeah, I heard that from my friend. That kind of looks uh, like a unicorn, but the horn is on its nose. Everybody remembers that, that otter is male, right? Is that your male, wife? Right? <laughs> I tried to point that out at the beginning, or actually... I had an ex-wife looked a lot like that. We, uh, uh we got in altercations, but I never got physical with her, gave her no niggas. Okay, oh. <laughs> She is a beautiful um, did you beast. Want, did you want, um, some payment for Can that bandage? Oh, not at all. No, it was my pleasure. Mm -hmm. It was my pleasure. I would never okay. charge you. Now, don't tell these folks. I charge them double, just to make up the okay. difference in, in the materials. I had a lot of pancakes if you wanted them. <gasps> pancakes! pancakes! Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? Oh, pancakes. Everybody okay? Pancakes. Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? Who said pancakes? Everybody okay? Me? Are we okay? Who said pancakes? <laughs> oh, dang gummit! Let me go out of this dang gum <laughs> rope now! <laughs> dang gummit! I'm sorry you had to see that. Miss Phoebe, pancakes, I'm sorry. you can't go around. Maybe call them flapjacks or something when you're around us. Pancakes is the trigger word. If you's ever in trouble, oh, you just holler pancakes. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that was a bad word. I'm we sorry. We was just we was just trying to protect everybody because that's what we do because we're real big and strong and we shoot real good. Oh, so okay. pancakes is the word. Okay. Yeah, they's making fun of your your uh Do you your... ever beat your son's ass? <laughs> Oh, that's, not a, that's not a good question. That's a, that's a naughty word, Phoebe. We only say that oh. when when we're around people who don't care about those words. That's true. But the older folk shouldn't... tend to be a little more sensitive. Yeah. Sorry, I got permission to swear from my mom. Because I was well, then, in a well, traumatic situation. I'm a little bit curious, though. Uh, they didn't answer the question. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm you, sorry, what you, was that? Do you beat your son's <laughs> ass, she said? Well, I mean, I, I reckon we get into a little tuffle every now and then. Oh, my Boy. God, he pulled hey, a gun on me. should him. hug. Oh, my goodness. I was just making sure he wasn't going to lie. Didn't I was right that. there. Oh, God, there went the toilet. What now, Phoebe? Did you give him some apple pie too? Or should I be concerned? I gave you apple pie and I gave him apple pie. Are we gonna die, Phoebe? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. How do you feel? <laughs> do you go to when you're about right. to go to heaven? Do you hear commodes? Cause I heard a commode. <laughs> What's a commode? I reckon you you hear that and you hear a piano, a piano that just won't a stop. A piano. Dang it! I lost your webcam again, bro. Thank you. Just throw the fake me. 
Don't confuse the piano and the commode. That'll get you in trouble. I had that happen at a saloon once. Bing. Oh, dear Lord. Boopy, boppy, boo. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing a piano, that's for sure. No, it's just like a piano. Lords are taking me. Lords are taking me. Bing, boop, 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 boop. Take care of my crow, Earl. I don't want your crow. <laughs> I only Lord. threw her about 20,000 yards of that way. I got a strong arm. Phoebe, would you like a crow? It's a fading fast. It's a fading fast for me. I hope you're okay. Tell well, God that you were need killed by down. Austin Anderson. <laughs> he will go Who's to Austin hell, Anderson? don't worry. <laughs> He's who made the apple pie. So I'm gonna end up in a hell for eating the apple pie even though I'm I'm a healing folk? No, you'll be in heaven. I think the person oh. who made the pie will be in hell. Don't worry. As long as I'm in the heaven, that's all right. Right, I just thought maybe the devil it's liked apple pie. It's all good. <laughs> Are you gonna die yeah, now or what? <laughs> Thank you. Apparently, it's a. Mm -hmm. it, maybe it's not my time. It's it's clearing up a little bit. Right, we, we can follow you to your house if you want. Make sure you get okay. safe. You just get there safely. Yeah. Okay. You saved. Do you live yeah. with your mama? That is my cool. That is really nice. My mom lives a little bit away near me, but she's not my real mom. She's kind of like my mom, but you know that I was abandoned when I was a little baby because I snored too loud. <laughs> we was abandoned when we was just... Really? I can't imagine why. Are you a bandit? Nah, I ain't no bandit. Earl, is you a bandit? I'm not a bandit. No, no, I'm You're not all in red. Chest. You know, you know, bandits wear black and red. <laughs> to be in personal yeah, mission five. to be out in the world, she's showing amazing. people not to judge a book by its cover. So I thought I'd dress up in red today to show people not to judge a book by its cover. I hadn't been shot at once, so it's been going okay. <laughs> that makes yeah. sense because. Um, a lot of people do judge people because of what they kind of are. Um, but sometimes you nice kind of need to do that because sometimes you can't trust that everyone will just be your friend. I learned that the hard way today. What happened today? To well, today, I can't tell you the specifics because I might get murdered. Um... But today, I I brought my friends to my other friend's house, and it turns out that my other friends wanted to kill my friend. And so I basically caused my friend's murder, maybe. Oh my goodness. I, I bet it, it probably had nothing to do with you. I, would, I wouldn't sweat that too much. If, if someone's going to do a murdering, they're going to do a murdering. Maybe, but I brought them right to his house while he was on a date, so I don't know. Rowdy, right, do you well, reckon that's, we that's gotta be awkward. following this girl around? Last people followed her around done got murdered. We the keeping her safe. Okay. She knows the word pancakes, man. All, that's all she gotta say. Okay. This is my house. They got whiskey, women, music, and smoke. It's where this this is amazing. Appreciate it, man. Four months in a row, so thank you. For the boat. That is the most amazing steering wheel I've ever seen in my life. I thought so, and you can drive like you're in the water. <laughs> you mind if I give it and a whirl? Then... Yeah, go for it. Hey, raise the sails. Oh my god. This is the coolest thing ever. It's um, it Royal rhymes with Earl. Rhymes with Earl? We got us a smart one on our hands. She, she said it rhymes with Earl. Oh, I never thought of that before. Give Earl a whirl. Give and Earl a whirl. Yeah, 
this, so this is the entrance to my house. And then right here, you can see my goats. They have a... He might be a little tall. It's freaking it's... amazing. This you gotta crouch right, a little bit through my... the doorway. These are my goats. You can see them. They have all of the dirt and sand for them. You really thought this out, didn't you? Yeah. And then in here is going to be my kitchen. I'm not done with all of it. And then up here is my guest room. Go on, Earl. You fit through that tiny little hole now. You just squeeze on in there. Get on in there, Earl. You're being rude. Get on in that little hole. Get in there. Okay. I'm actually half this impressed. Here we go. Fancy, yeah. First time. And then you can drop down and see the goats in the morning. Go in there. Oh my god. Go in there. Hey, get down here and look at these darn goats. Are they got to say? <laughs> my god. Where did you get these such, such amazing goats from? Now I feel like we're trapped. Now, we are definitely now, trapped. Now you're my goats. Bye. <laughs> this is real awkward. This, to be honest, this isn't the first time this has happened. Well, this is awkward. Earl, I'm stuck in a child's bedroom again. Wait, no, that sounds bad. I'm stuck in a child's bedroom. Um, I'm just, yep, yeah, stuck in. Earl. Yes, sir. You don't, you don't reckon we could squeeze through the window, do you? Perhaps if you open the door, it'd be okay. um, a little Tell easier. Carmel, Carmel can open it. Say, please open the door, Carmel. Please, Carmel, will you open the door? <laughs> Thank you very thing. much, Carmel. I didn't know you had you one of them talking horses. Yeah. Um, did you guys want a present? I do like presents. Okay, here. <laughs> Sweet Jesus! Friendship rocks. Where that pick them up, went? pick them up. They're right here. Um, if you keep them with you, you'll always be safe. But you have to keep them in your pocket, not your horses. Always be safe and you'll be lucky, okay? Okay, will do. These, and, these rocks will always be here for me. They're always going to yeah. stay in my pocket, I promise. Yeah, and if you ever feel lonely, you just look at that and remember that someone's thinking about you, okay? That's awesome. I do reckon that's the sweetest thing I ever heard. You know what? I got a present for you. One second. It's a, it's a friendship thatch. Now, you only got to keep one on you. <laughs> but okay. the, the friendship thatch will keep you safe from the murderers and, and all the scary folks. And um, it even has a song that goes along with it. Okay. What is it? It's, um, you're a, you're a cook, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you would ask me cook. for the song. Man, that is amazing looking. Yeah. I couldn't fit one inside the house because it's so small. Well, this is the perfect spot for it anyway. Yeah, so what's the song? Chip Chop. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the song, that's right. I would have been ashamed if you forgot um, that. Uh, you put it in your recipes and it keeps you safe. So you're like, uh, down the hatch with the friendship thatch. You'll n never have to watch your back with the friendship thatch. Something oh. like that. that that's, how, that's how I remember it. Down the hatch <laughs> with the friendship hatch. You'll never have to watch your back with the friendship hat thatch. Hatch. That's pretty good. Yep, yep. 
It's an I old like family. Practice. Yeah, you practice it. Next time we meet What's... you, we're gonna have to hear it. Thank you. I believe that. <laughs> um, Thank you and just follow. remember that if anyone ever says anything bad about me, or that I'm working with bandits, or that I'm evil, um, it's not true. Okay. I would never, I would never even think about giving the friendship thatch to somebody who I thought was evil. So. You're the only okay. person in all the land with the friendship thatch, okay? So if okay. you if you've never if you feel like you never got a friend, you've got them Wilcox boys. Okay, I will look at the thatch all the time, and I'll and I'll sing the song, and I'll do a really good job, okay? Now you promise? Yes, I promise. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I will probably come find your house later. Yeah, if you do, I'll be kind of impressed. But you'll see it. it it's uh, it, it looks like a fallen down shack. Okay, I will. Okay, bye, bitches. <laughs> but later, little lady. You have a good. Bye. But it's just the Earl's the only bitch. You can just say you can just say bitch and no, and then be a him. I feel bad just calling you one. <laughs> oh me. Okay, well. <laughs> it was great to meet you as well. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh,